In the CBS News Money Watch, Wall Street finished the year on a high note. The Dow closed at 11,578, a gain of 11 percent for the year. But for many investors, it was still a lost decade with stocks going nowhere. We will be happy, Nelly. As they've done since the Depression, traders at the New York Stock Exchange closed out the year with a song. And this year, they've had a lot to sing about, as all three major indexes scored double-digit gains. The great Lehman panic is finally behind us. We're back to prices we were at just before Lehman went under. The rally ignited in August after fears about European bank defaults faded. And what happened in August? What changed? You know, I, I think there was a mindset change. Trader I, I Alan Valdez. I think people just felt more confident. But stocks are still well shy of their all-time highs. And despite the market's sharp climbs and steep falls over the past 10 years, the Dow will end the decade very close to where it began it. It would indicate that the so-called strategy of buy and hold uh, shouldn't be held. Um, you know, you've gone nowhere. The Dow started the decade just below 11,000, then plummeted after 9-11. It recovered and rallied to an all-time high of more than 14,000 before the financial crisis cut it in half. Even with the latest rally, the Dow has gained less than 8% over the past 10 years. But I think we're going to build from here. It feels like it. It really does. The volatility scared many investors out of the market. But over the last two years, from what I've seen, it's picked up a little bit. Um, so I do plan to slowly get back in after the first of the year. I think in the long run, uh, it all it all come back, and uh, the market's the place to be. With the economy finally picking up speed, investors may not have to wait till the sun shines. As for what 2011 may bring, we asked Lakshman Achutan of the Economic Cycle Research Institute and Jim Awad of Zephyr Management to take part in this New Year's Day economic forecast. Lakshman, let me start with you. You look at leading economic indicators. What are they telling you about this year? For 2011, uh, at least for the first half, if not into the second half, we have a revival in economic growth, meaning that not only production, but also jobs and sales and income. How strong a lifting. revival do we think? Well, you know, look, we've slowed down to 1% or 2% growth, depending on how you add all these numbers together. Mm -hmm. So it'll be faster than that. Jim, the stock market seems to have been telling us for months now that, that it thinks next, this year is going to be very strong. Do you agree? Uh, yes. If this economic forecast is correct, and you have to say it looks like that's the most likely uh, uh, scenario, mm -hmm. that's very good for corporate profits. Corporations are in terrific shape. So all of this speaks to a favorable environment for financial assets, there, uh, stocks particularly. There are risks uh, to that that you have to be attentive to. There's a lot of debt in the system, but we have cyclical momentum that if there isn't an external shock or, or an accident, should allow stock prices to go up. Well, here's the question. I mean, everybody was told last year that the recession was over, but yeah. it didn't feel like it. Right. Is it going to feel like it this year? A lot of that depends on how fast we have jobs recovery. We've recovered uh, about 80% of the GDP that was lost during the recession and about 10% of the private sector jobs that were lost during the recession. That's a real divergence. We have to see more and more private sector jobs growth, faster private sector jobs growth. How soon do you think we could see that? I think you're already, you'll see a revival in that, stronger than uh, we've seen recently. We've been seeing a slowing in private sector job growth. That'll start to lift in the next few months. Mm -hmm. So by mid-year, you'll look in the rearview mirror and you'll say, ah, there, the growth started again. But it won't feel, it won't make you feel healed. Um, Jim, the market, if you look back a decade, it's, it's almost just about even, although we had a very strong year. Is there significant room to go up here? Yes, and here's the icing on the stock market cake, is that the, the demand in the emerging markets, the emerging markets are absolutely on fire. And most of the large multinational U.S. corporations get a majority of their growth, if not their earnings from there. So when you combine all that, it makes a very attractive picture for profits. Again, there are risks, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, based on what you see Today, it's looking favorable. So overall, mm -hmm. a healthy outlook. Gentlemen, yeah. Lakshman Achutan, Jim A. White, thank you both. Happy New Year. And thank to you. you.